with funky bones. Get off my back. Oh, funky bones. Get off my back. Hey, it's Ben with Bomb Sinkwell with my second video today, working on this piece for uh, sculpture outside. So I have, um, and hopefully you can see my whole head this time. <laughs> the last video was mostly my chin, I noticed, but anyway, so I have this raw material. You know, these are all recycled materials. This is um, a metal spring coil from the inside of a laundry uh, hamper, you know, this barrel size. And they're really nice for what I'm working with. I'm gonna, I've got a couple of friends that have a couple of these. They're going to give me a few more. And then, of course, I have the ubiquitous and the inevitable cat food food can, which these are everywhere, common everyday material. Um, but what I like about them, uh, there's something pleasing about the shape <laughs> of these things. I don't know what it is. Something kind of pleasing about it. And they make great sound when the water from rain hits them in a certain way and when they get together in a certain way. They, they make a, a terrifyingly terrible sound when I place them on to here. So I mean, you can hear this sound. So there's that little element of you know, a little bit of an auditory element there. Um, and mostly I'm using these, I do have a couple of sardine cans too, which I should really uh, gather these materials separately and, and have more consistent parts with that. But anyway, it is what it is with that. Um, what's nice about this, it's such a ready-made project. You don't need a whole lot of tools to use these particular materials, especially the aluminum cans. It's like working with paper mache. You know, it's very durable. It, it's a little dangerous, a little more dangerous than paper mache. It can get sharp. But the material itself, um, is relatively easy to work with. Now some of these are steel and those are much harder to work with. It's harder to puncture. Like the, I think it's the difference between the human, uh, I was gonna say the human grade fish and the pet grade fish. So I'm just gonna bend that back a little bit. And uh, this one, you can tell by the way which one's steel and which one's aluminum. This one's aluminum. So I'm gonna start with this because so much easier to pop into place. Just gonna take that, get rid of that garbage, the label. I'm gonna sit up for a second. And uh, so I'm taking this piece, and the end here is exceptionally sharp. Uh, I snipped that off a while ago, and so it works as its own tool. It's this. It's kind of built into the material. I just take it and I push it through. Careful not to puncture my skin. Couldn't hurt to have gloves, but I don't because I've used this so much and I'm just familiar with where the dangerous parts are. And that's it. It's on there. One nice, beautiful piece of material. And like I said, that part can get a little rough listening to it. Um, and then I'm going to take this next piece here. This one's the like some Pol Polish sardines uh, that I got that were delicious. I'm going to push this through. There we go. It's kind of a thing we don't want to force it too much because then the sharp burrs come out of there. Right, the next piece goes on here. Like so. And they happen to have a second one, so I'm going to put that on there. Yeah, these are delicious. I may live off of Polish sardines for the rest of my life. These are so good. <laughs> Out of the can. Okay, so here's another piece. Now this one is steel. I can tell the way it looks. Um, and there's different grades in steel too. This one is sort of in between. I can tell it's not as uh, durable, as thick as some of them, but um, you know, just kind of move it around. And give it a little more force, and there it goes. And that one pops into place. Okay, so we have this. It, it's so obnoxious making this and building it and working on it. I really enjoy it. <laughs> and then when you set it up, 
because I'm not turning this into an object I'm, I'm, other than what it is itself. I'm not, I'm not pretending this is a seagull or uh, an octopus or whatever. Um, it's, it's really pleasant and relaxing. It's, it's kind of this, this sense of relief. You can hear my son in the background. He's playing Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto, more likely Grand Theft Auto with his friends. So if you hear that in the back, that's my son Klaus. But uh, yeah, I'll put a couple more pieces on here just to keep this. So I like that there's a repetitive element with these. I've mentioned that before. Um, because this entire thing is so chaotic, let's see here. This one's a little bit tougher. This is like the albacore can. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that goes through. But I like the repeating element of these. Um, because it brings just a tiny bit of peace and sanity to a piece that's kind of wild and um, chaotic. So there's that. There's at least that one repetitive element. So this end piece has a, has a circle hoop. And I, I'm going to leave that because what I want to do is I'm going to attach this piece to the sculpture flying the gnome outside in a little while. Probably going to get one more LED, solar LED light to put on there. Uh, there's a hoop at the bottom. I'm going to attach this part of the, to, the, to the main body of the piece. Then the hoop will dang, dangle down a little bit. It'll give me a little more opportunity to use some of the 8mm film, which is even more of an ephemeral material than these pieces. Um, but again, it's a repeated element. There's only a few of them on there now. I want to have many of these pieces of 8mm uh, material on there. Again, it's sort of like a, a soothing element in the storm of the, the design of that sculpture. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of these pieces out. It's a beautiful, sunny, ice cold day. The wind chills around three or four below uh, Fahrenheit right now. So it's sort of like my children and I run outside for a few minutes and then we run back. I did offer, I asked if anybody wanted to help today and nobody wanted to help work on my work, work on this sculpture and that's okay. Once in a while I get the children to help and it's a lot of fun. But right now they're doing their thing. It's it's hard to compete sometimes with the different options that they have. But then other times they'll come and they'll work with me on certain certain things, certain sculptures, or they'll work on their own paintings or sculptures, and that's a lot of fun. So all right, well next video should be me installing this piece um, before the sun goes down, and then possibly getting another light, but I may not do that today, but I'll at least get this piece on there. So this has been the final sink well. Please hit the like button if you haven't, smash the like button, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Okay, bye.